What's up, guys? We're here in the basement of AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Shoe. <laughs> dot com. And we are doing it retro style, just me and you. We just got out. We're, well, we watched Triple X. Um, this is Return of Xander Cage. It's avian weekend here in Las Vegas. So, what better movie to watch than Triple X? Yeah. Triple X. It makes guess. sense. I'm just curious who's like, I need another Triple X movie. Because I don't know about you, not a fan, not looking forward to it. Well, you made a good point. Fast and the Furious, they say, is done after part 10. Yes. They say it's done. They're not going to do any more. So Vintage is like, oh man, everything I've ever done beyond that has failed. I need something quick. And he can't do the babysitting movie. Oh, he he babysitting. Pacifier. He can't yeah. do there, there will not be a, a sequel to Pacifier. So really, what better movie to come back with than Triple X? Triple X. And uh, we're gonna do obviously, he's beefing up the cast. We got some UFC fighters. We got Donnie Yen. Don Yen's badass. Uh, yeah, we got Michael Tony Jaw is also a badass. Michael Bisping. We got Sam Jackson. We got um, some surprises out here. So uh, overall, what do you think about it? Honestly, <laughs> I enjoyed it. So, okay, the movie as it was as cheesy as it's get, it, you can't get any more cheesy than this movie. Uh, nothing was with the law of physics. <laughs> nothing was realistic. So as long as you know you're going into this movie as a 100% popcorn flick, this movie for me will not make. I'm sure it won't even make top 100. I'm sure by the time December comes around and we just finish getting out of. Rogue, uh, not Rogue One, um, episode okay. 8. I'm sure I won't even remember this even came out. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I enjoyed myself. It reminded me a lot of a mix of Ocean's 11, 12, 13, Gone in 60 Seconds with Fast and Furious. Huh. Uh, it definitely <laughs> reminded me a lot of Fast and Furious because, like, you know, like James said, James, Vin Diesel's like, I need a new franchise and quick. And I think he's really learned that the last couple of Fast and Furious have been so ridiculous. And that's what people are going to see. So he definitely brought this over. Um, I thought this movie was just dreadful. <laughs> like it was, it was cheesy. And she was right too. Like it is cheesy at the beginning. I'm like, okay, they're going for a very snarky kind of um, smart aleck type of tone, but that doesn't really pay off. And Vin Diesel is just is so bad. He's so bad. And I just, I can't. I don't care. I don't. No, I already don't like the Fast and Furious franchise. I don't need another one that's the same type of thing. Skiing, ski. You don't like skiing in the jungle. In the jungle, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Donnie you Yen, you Donnie like Yen's pretty cool. We in, on that. You don't like motorcycles in, in the water? I didn't know motorcycles in the water and they're surfing. <laughs> I haven't seen something like that bad since Escape from L.A. when he's surfing the lava. But yeah, they're surfing in <laughs> motorcycles here. It's just all sorts of nuts. Like anything you could think of that's ridiculous, it's this. And, it was know, in this movie. Yeah, and Vin Diesel, like... Whoever wrote this is either 12 years old because, like, you know, everything is just so, like, how you'd imagine, like, Vin Diesel has a big chain and he's wearing fur and he's got a girl who likes him and she's a geek because she has glasses on. It's just so, like, typical thinking. Um, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who are like, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm Maybe. curious to see what know. happens because we, we, we saw a split. Yes. Check um, out our review. Click that white up there. We saw Split, and then this came out, and you know it's gonna be interesting because at the end of the day, if this doesn't make money, ain't give me no sequels. Yeah. So it has to make not only not only does that make money, it has to make profits. Yeah. So I don't know if there's like you said at the beginning. How many I would think want? Split destroys this movie, but I'm probably wrong. We'll have to see. But if you're here, listen to me, and you want to know. But if you want to listen to me, I say go. It's actually fun. It's See Split first, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not negotiable. Not if, you're, if you can only watch one movie, you see Split this yes. weekend. And you watch it maybe twice if you need yes. to. Yes. Um, but if you want just a just a popcorn flick, that's what this was. Yes. It's yep. just a popcorn It movie. is a popcorn flick, but not a very good one. Like, it, it's one of those movies that definitely tried to be funny and tried to be ridiculous. But to me, it didn't draw that line enough to be enjoyable still. Love it. But Donnie Yen? Donnie Yen, badass. Always. Always. Ba, 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 ba. Vin Diesel, not so much. He wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. Alright, in seven days, next Thursday we got... Some fun stuff. We got Resident Evil. We got A Dog's yeah. Purpose. Which... Oh, I feel so bad. Yeah. The TMZ. That's not <laughs> good. That's really they, not good. They canceled the premiere now. Oh, really? Yeah, they canceled the premiere of... Um, the dog's bird. The actual premiere, not yeah. our premiere. The, they, got, so. they, got, they got TMZ, they got PETA protesting. It's, it's, it's no bueno. So, uh, and we'll I thought that movie looked great. I did too. But like, of all things that have happened to the dog movie, 
You don't want that happening to your movie. Not in a dog movie. You don't torture the dog <laughs> in a dog movie. I know. I texted Louie. I was like, oh, man, the dog's purpose is just is, is done. He's like, wow. I was like, just Google it. And he's like, oh, yep, that movie's a goner. It's just, that's not going to be that good. Sucks. Because the people who'd want to really see that are going to be the people who, would, who like, are going to hate it. I'm still going to watch it. <laughs> I think it looks great. We'll, we'll have to see. I'll, I'll have to see how the investigation goes, and, and maybe they can persuade me to see it. Because I don't want to advocate that kind of stuff either. You know, Ooh, no you're, animals being harmed. You're chasing cinema. You do what's right, ethical. I don't. I don't. I don't like to to, to 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 skew my morals. Full integrity, especially when it's animal related. Come on, like who wants to support a movie if they hurting dogs? But you know, we'll have to see what the investigation leads out to and everything. Um, that's it. Watch our review for Split. I also have my review up for 20th Century Woman and The Founder. Make sure to go check out that. And then we have our top 10 coming out tomorrow. So make sure to check that out. And don't forget, Chasing Cinema has been sponsoring uh, movies that all entrepreneurs need to watch. So yes. those have been coming out. We have like 10 of those. Yeah, make sure to go click that white eye. You can see his channel and check out all those videos. And we'll be back in seven days. ChasingCinema.com is known as... Film Lover's Website. <laughs>